New German dance on Strictly. I really want to bounce back for them right. as well as myself. Hairy ship's wheel on Emmerdale. <laughs> and squeaky elbow on EastEnders. I can't believe you're here. <laughs> Party Wars now on rapidly emerging digital channel Living. The premise is who can organise the best party? Brilliant. And just what the schedules have been crying out for. <laughs> and the big star this week was former X Factor finalist Stacey Solomon. The party that I'm having is probably worth, I think it's worth about 10,000. 10 grand? But I am never going to pay that much money for a party, so I'm just going to call in as many favours as possible. I've been on the phone to everyone I know and anyone, and I'm just like, please help me, please help me, please do this. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very special day on EastEnders this week. Come out tonight. What's this? What well, he says it is. Special night at r and R's. Happy Monday. Yes? Happy Monday! So, how did the residents of Albert Square spend their Happy Monday? <laughs> Where do I go from here? There you've gone too far! Of course, Carol was still mourning the loss of Billy Jackson. It went to her stomach and she went on a sick run. Oh, fine. Where's it been? That's a quiet drink. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm looking all over Walford. I found a bite of swings. Oh, my God, he's rushing on! Hey, it's the new Olympic sport of the sick run. <laughs> Would you, um, thank Ricky for looking after me? Yeah, that's what he's here for, to look after us. He's one of the good guys, eh? He's all right. <coughs> you join us at the EastEnders 100 metre sick run. Carol's off and she's holding on to her sick nicely. No other runners as yet, but what's happening back at the kitchen? <coughs> Bit of a late start, but Ricky's off. It's very difficult, as you know, to hold on to your sick like this. Ricky's doing a sterling job, and, well, he's making remarkable headway. He's racing through this course. He's closing the gap with Carol, and surely it's anybody's sick run now. Oh, no! He stuffed it! He's been sick, and so he's disqualified! <laughs> oh, dear, Ricky's blown it. Ugh. Well, actually, seeing all those people being sick, it's... It's made me feel a bit... <laughs> oh, actually, I, I'm all right, it's gone. <laughs> To get them. Yeah, I managed to <clears throat> swallow it back. <laughs> I felt sorry for Billy Mitchell having a personal problem flagged up like that. Time changes nothing for you, does it, eh? Still the same old self pity, still the same old skid mark. <laughs> <laughs> might not be, might be a new one. <laughs> I'm wondering whether he might benefit from some sort of wet wipe. Still, things abruptly picked up for Billy when his old friend Julie suggested a clever way of flogging veg. So, Stew in a bag. What? Stew in a bag. Stew in a bag. <laughs> yeah, brilliant idea. I want one. Right, who's going to have me last one? Who's going to take pity on me? Otherwise, I won't hear the last of it from her. Oh, cheers. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's the last stew in a bag. Luckily, <laughs> I bought mine earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, that's charming. That is the last stew in a bag and you've spewed in the bag. <laughs> no, it's not a stew in the bag, it's a spew in the bag. <laughs> oh, there's nothing for it. Oh, 
Oh, push, push there. I didn't get a stew in a bag because Billy had sold out. Oh. I don't suppose you'd sell me yours? Uh... <laughs> what should we say, a fiver? A fiver? Billy was selling it for a pound. Well, take it or leave it. <laughs> oh, oh good, it comes with gravy. <laughs> <laughs> now then, I've been asked to make a little announcement. There's been a spate of weird people going around the streets tempting people with muffins. Hello, hello, hello. Who wants a muffin? Would you like a muffin? Mum, sorry, you've just walked into the muffin zone. Remember, kids, never accept a muffin from a stranger. That's right, it's The Apprentice! <laughs> They call me Stacey. <laughs> That's not my name. That's not my name. <laughs> my name is Alan Sugar, and one of you will be fired. <laughs> I must say, he's been on great form, though. Some of the gags he's been coming out with have been pure gold. Here we are at Fortnum & Mason, famous for its afternoon teas. Whether it's fancy cakes and pastries like these, or whether it's everyday bread rolls, this is turning flour into serious dough. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Lord Sugar. Slam dunk. What that crowd? I heard the expression breadwinners. I'm looking at six bread losers here today. <laughs> Not so good, that one. <laughs> this week the task was to manufacture and sell baked goods. And it must have been cold in that bakery. They do say that you lose 80% of the heat from your head, don't they? Well, Stuart wasn't taking any chances. If I was doing the pitch, I'd definitely be getting the orders. I'm an amazing Two hats. <laughs> yeah, I like to wear more than one hat in this cold. Let's just take those off because otherwise I won't. <laughs> I won't feel the benefit. Yeah. I'll feel the benefit when I go out. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's it. <clears throat> Which brings us to uh, this week's Apprentice in a Nutshell. This week's Apprentice in a Nutshell. As a doctor, I may be a bit of a business virgin, but I know that I've got the intelligence and the entrepreneurial spirit to succeed. You're fired. <laughs> I wonder what Hugh Fernley Whittingstall is up to down at his river cottage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to intrude on a private moment. <laughs> <laughs> this week, Hugh was bigging up the breakfast. A scattering of those croutons prepares the way for the star of the show, the lovely local black pudding. And there you have it, the perfect summer brunch. A full English breakfast salad. <laughs> that is a crime against God. <laughs> Everyone knows that the full English breakfast is a national symbol. Wow. This is one of the most celebrated meals in Britain. And you know what? I'm actually a bit of a fan. A recent survey named the full English as the thing that most uniquely symbolises Britain, beating the royal family into second place. Now. <laughs> I like the royal family, but then I like the full English breakfast. <laughs> Which is better? There's only one way to find out. Stop! 